Ready to try a new quilting design today? This one's new for me. Hey Kimberbell friends, Kristen Som here and we're continuing our fun time with Candy Corn Quilt Shop. So today we are going to work on block 16. It is on page 32. Oh my gosh, we are so far along. Did you know that we only have four more sets of blocks because one of them the pumpkin um there's three blocks but four more sets of regular blocks for this quilt that's it um then we'll do the traditional blocks and more on that later but anyway so um did you see i have a new shirt today i haven't made a new applique shirt in a long time and so i decided to make one last night and it's a cute little uh, beetle car, like my car, and it has pink flowers. It's actually pink with white flowers, but mine is pink with pink flowers, my actual car. So anyway, it says ride, find, find adventure. And I added the wording and I added the little arrow. And I think, I think it's pretty cute. I'm excited to finally have a, a new um, shirt. All of my applique shirts are, are quite old. Really, I started the quilting and then <laughs> everything else just kind of um, gets left behind. So anyway, I'm having fun with this quilt. Candy Corn Quilt Shop. So anyway, today we are going to do Thimble Flowers. Thimble Flowers on page 32. And um, well, let's talk about what we're going to need for this one. So it's a very simple applique block, just one applique piece. Uh, so we're going to start with our background fabric that is this black and it has the scroll and the witch on it. And so it is directional. So when you cut it, make sure um, to notice which way that that witch is going. You don't want an upside down witch. Um, so squirrel, scrolls, little scrolls, moon, stars, and a witch. Mine has one witch, actually one and a half, depending on how you cut your fabric. But anyway, you probably can't see that. I'm not sure, but you want your witch facing upwards. You don't want an upside down witch. So as always, back it with fusible stabilizer. And um, then for our one, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to say. So we're going to cut this. <laughs> your cut size for this one for, for your main fabric is going to be eight and a half by six and a half for this one. Back it with fusible stabilizer. And then one applique piece, and it's this silver gray leather. How fun is that? So we're gonna use this on the thimble. And this one is gonna be cut to six and a half by three for your leather. Don't back this with fusible stabilizer. Don't back it with anything. Leave it as is for this piece of leather. All right, and then for our batting, because we're gonna quilt it, so for our batting, the final cut size of this project is six and a half by four and a half. So that means that we want a piece of batting that's at least five by seven, at least five by seven for your batting. All right, and then make sure to um, grab your um, thread kit. Hopefully you ordered that from Oma Darlings. They still have plenty in stock. It's the official Candy Corn Quilt Shop thread kit. And it just makes it so easy to know which threads go with it. So for this, we're really only going to need green and either dark gray or black. It's impossible to tell on that tiny little block. Um, there's a little box on the page that shows you what color that they suggest. And um, for the black and dark gray, they're just too close. If you look, I said on a previous video that if you look on page three of the booklet, there is um, larger boxes so that you can see um which like it's very easy to use this and compare it to like the oranges because there's two oranges so you can use that on page three to try and decipher which um color that they're suggesting but on the black and dark gray it's really impossible so use whatever you think works best and um so for this one we're going to quilt it and I'm pretty excited. So we're gonna use a new quilting design that we haven't used in one of my tutorials before. And it is called Hobby 2. I just bought it. And I noticed that some people are saying that they've had issues with downloading from the Kimberbell um, background quilting site. And um, I did have to hit um, the button a few times for it to refresh. 
but and it used to and this is where i think the hiccup is but i could be wrong but um it used to be that when you um order it there's an immediate download button and i haven't had that for a while now and so i think that's probably why people are thinking oh my gosh i didn't get my um my background quilting design but what I do is I go and I look at my email and I immediately get the email from Kimberbell and there is a download button on that email and that always works for me. So no problems with that. And I know that some people have said on the Kimberbell group that there's an issue with their site and you can always contact customer service. They're fantastic. But, um, but check your email because for me that download now button works great. So no problems. So that's to get hobby two. It's that really cute one. It's got spools and needles on it. So very cute for this. Um, so we are going to use, like I said, our final cut size is six and a half by four and a half. So that means that we want a quilting design that is four by six. It's really six by four, but it'll be on your CD, not your CD. Sorry. It's a direct download. It'll be on your computer as a four by six, but we're going to turn it sideways and it's going to come sideways because of our fabric. So don't worry about it. <laughs> four by six in hobby two. And I'm going to use... Um, my five by seven hoop. So um, those that have a five by seven hoop as your biggest, you don't have to do any alterations. You don't have to double hoop or anything like that for this one. Nice, easy block. So let's go ahead and get started. Mm -hmm. 